Welcome to my channel, Deanna Troy Travels. I put out weekly videos about travel, life, advice, and more, so please subscribe below. Today, I'm going to show you how to make some cute DIY Halloween costumes that any backpacker can make, including the jack-o'-lantern pumpkin look I'm wearing right now. As a traveler, I know that you have no money or no space in your backpack to get a costume and lug it around, so I'm going to teach you how you can still look fabulous this Halloween. Also, make sure to check out my video, How to Celebrate Halloween Abroad, for tips on finding the best location, the best parties, and how to be safe while having fun. Okay, let's get into it. All you need for your Halloween costume this year is one, the clothes you already have, two, plain paper, scissors, and tape, and or three, cheap paint. The clothes are free, and for the office supplies, your hostel may let you borrow these, but if not, you can always go to the store with your friends and split the costs. The same goes for cheap paint. Go to the store with your friends and find kids poster paint. It has to say poster or else it's going to be really watery. And you could split this with your friends. All of these supplies can be used to make so many different looks. Okay, the first step for creating your Halloween costume look is to go to your big backpack, dump it out, and look at all the clothes that you already have. Go ahead, try it now. Check out your plain colored clothing first, because that's really easy to add on to. That's a cute idea, but no one will probably know who Kim Possible is. I know, it's hard to believe, right? <laughs> Try again. For your Halloween costume, you're going to want to stick with ideas that everyone's going to know. Not some obscure American TV reference that a local or a traveler from another country isn't going to understand. Try and stay around these themes. Nature, animals, well-known Halloween things, or really popular pop culture references that everyone's gonna get. An example of this would be Disney. Everyone knows really popular Disney characters. Or you can do traveling related jokes. You can make fun of the country that you're from. You could be a tourist, or you could go down the street and get a shirt that has a beer from the country that you're visiting and be that beer can for Halloween. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Good, try again. Great idea. A rainbow is something in nature that people will recognize. You could wear this shirt and use your body paint to paint a rainbow on your arms or face. Check out this picture of my friend and I. If you paint this and wear this shirt, you're good for Halloween. Go ahead, try another look. Awesome, this is my first DIY costume day and night. You can wear this as a couple's costume or with your BFF. First, we're going to start making the sun for the day look. You can use post-it notes that you borrow from your hostel or buy with your friends. To make the sun, just draw a circle and then draw some triangles coming off of it for the rays. When you're done with that, just cut it up and you don't even have to worry about erasing the pencil marks because those will be taped down to your shirt. And here you go, you made a sun. Now, make clouds out of printer paper that you can borrow from your hostel. Just draw the clouds on the piece of paper and then cut it out. You can make as many clouds as you can and you can make them all different shapes and sizes. There you go, now you have your cloud. Next we're going to put everything together on your blue shirt. Just take some packing tape or regular tape and make a little rolled up ball of tape and stick it to the back of your sun and clouds. I suggest putting the clouds on your boobs because it's really fun to have clouds on your boobs. Alright, just add a couple more clouds and here is your complete day look. For your nighttime look, you're just going to make a moon out of white paper and cut it out. This moon should be the same size as your sun. There you go. Now you have a moon. Now we're going to use the same post-it notes to make a star. You can make a star the same way you did in elementary school by the two A shapes on top of each other. Then when you have a star, you can cut it out. Again, you don't have to worry about pencil marks because they will not show. After you're done with this gorgeous big star, you're going to want to look at your scraps and use them to make smaller stars. And cut this out too. You should have small stars and big stars. There you go, a cute little star. Now you're going to take your black shirt and tape your moon and stars to the shirt. Just make a few more stars and tape it on, and then you're all set for your nighttime look. This is what the final day and night costumes will look like. We were this last year for Halloween and it was a big hit. Everyone even called me day all night. It was really fun, and the sun, moon, and stars, everything stayed on all night. You can do this, or you can use the copy paper and post-it notes to make it any kind of shapes you want for your Halloween outfit. Okay, pick out another look. Fabulous! 
Here's my DIY with hair and makeup for my pumpkin look. Now I'm going to show you how to do the hair for the pumpkin outfit. First you're going to start with hair that's a little bit greasy because you don't have any money for hairspray and no space in your backpack for that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is split your hair up between the front and the back. Now I just want to say I am not a beauty guru, these looks are not perfect, so don't judge me, but they are easy and fun and you can do them on the go. Alright, let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is tie the front and the back of the hair with a hair tie to get it out of the way. Just like this. When you do this, you're going to want to make sure it's on the top of your head so it looks like a pumpkin stump. When you get all of the front of your hair on top of your head, you're going to tie it with a hair tie and secure it. Just like this. Doo -doo -doo. Step two. Now you're going to take that ponytail that you just made and you're going to twirl it around to look like a rectangular stump shape. To help you with this, you can put your finger in the ponytail and this is going to help you get that shape. Once you get the rectangle shape all set, then you can take out your finger and then keep twirling your hair around. Twirl, twirl. All right, once you're done twirling it around, now you're going to secure it with a bobby pin. You can borrow bobby pins from the girlfriends that you made in the hostel, or you guys can just go buy bobby pins and split them up. So, then when you're done with that, just take down the rest of your hair and you're good to go. For the flyaways, I've learned that if you use just a pinch of shaving cream, it can work just like gel and make them nice and flat. All right, ta-da, here you are, your final look. Now I'm gonna show you how to make the leaves that go right here. For the leaf hair ties, you're gonna use paint and post-it notes and scissors. First, you're gonna cut out the leaf with the scissors. Now when you cut this out, make sure to leave a square edge at the end because you're gonna be poking a hole through this later. So, once you're done with that, then you're going to paint your leaf. Now I use the post-it notes because the post-it notes are yellow and yellow and blue make green. So if a little bit of yellow shows up underneath, then that's all good because it just kind of looks like a highlight to your leaf. Now I used a light green and a dark green, and I think it looks nice to have the two different greens. Now you're going to set that to dry. Once that dries, you're going to make leaf veins on either side to give it that leaf illusion. Alright, now you're done with that. Ta -da. Next, you're going to use twisty ties that you can get off of food or that you can ask your hostel owner to borrow, and you're going to turn these leaves into hair pieces. To do this, you're going to use a pen to poke a hole through the leaves, and you don't want to use scissors because then it's going to rip, so go very carefully, make sure it's just perfect. Aw oh, man, if you broke it just like I did, don't worry about it, you can fix it with tape. Now let's move on to the next one. Okay, carefully this time. Alright, you got it. Now we're going to put the twisty ties in, and I'm fixing this with tape. It's all better, and I can put that twisty tie in again, and after that, now we have two leaf hair pieces to put in your stomach. Now I'm going to show you how to put this in your stump hairdo. Ta-da! Now you're going to take your two leaf hair pieces and just stick them in with bobby pins. When you're sticking them in, decide which side you want them on. They can be on either side, one leaf can be on top of each other. It's all up to you. Just pick your spot and stick them in bobby pins. There you go. Now you have your complete pumpkin hairdo. Next, I'm going to show you the makeup. Again, I'm definitely not a beauty guru, and some of the ways I may be doing this may seem a little ratchet, but that's okay. Backpacking life is messy, and we accept it, and we do the best with what we have. So first you make two long wings, and don't worry if it's a little messy, and don't mind my unplugged eyebrows. Once you have two big wings, then you're gonna use your ruler to make the points of the triangle. And these go above the eyebrows, and then after you use your ruler, you just kinda make the lines. Again, you're gonna be filling this in, so it's okay if it looks a little messy. Speaking of messy, my hair is a little bit greasier than I thought it was. Sorry! Once you have these two triangle outlines, you're going to go in with eyeliner and fill in both of the triangle shapes. Ta-da! Two triangle eyes. Now it's time for the nose and the mouth. So for the nose, you're just going to take your eyeliner and draw another cute little triangle on your nose and fill it in. Now you have two triangle eyes and a nose. For the lips, I'm using eyeliner right here, but you can go and buy black lipstick. You can also be a little bit more creative and make jack-o'-lantern mouth shapes. But filling it in, just black, is the easiest way to go. You're done! This look only takes about 10 minutes to do, but I would paint the leaves the day before so they have time to dry. Ta-da! Now you are all set for Halloween! Put on any orange shirt or dress and you are ready to pate! Those are three looks that you can wear for Halloween, or you can check out this cheat sheet that I'm about to show you next for more ideas based on different colors and designs that are in the clothes that you already have. Well, thanks for watching. I hope I've helped you travelers out. And if you decide to use any of my outfit ideas from the DIYs, from the cheat sheet, or a look of your own inspired by my advice, 
then please take a picture and at me at Deanna Troy Travels or hashtag me at Deanna Troy Travels for a chance to be featured on my Instagram. Please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for videos about traveling, life, advice, and more. Thank you so much and have an awesome Halloween abroad. Goodbye my little traveler family and I'll see you next time on Deanna Troy Travels. Traveling in foreign countries In the promised land where adventures are hanging on the trees And you do not what you must but what you please Yeah, then you know you are a backpacker